people, local news. This is where the news comes first. The latest climate change report that was released this week by the National Climate Assessment has some people feeling a little worried. Local News 8's Caitlin Nukitas joins us live in Pocatello where she spoke to some climate experts today who say all of this worry is a little bit unnecessary. So Caitlin, what climate trends are experts seeing here in eastern Idaho? Well, they're seeing more carbon, di carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and what that basically means is that we're going to be seeing warmer summers and shorter winters. Now, for us humans, they're not too concerned because we're easily adaptable, but for wildlife, that's a different story. If this becomes 10 or 12 or the severity increases, then we're going to have to significantly change how we do do our work, how we manage the fish and wildlife resources. Biologist Jim Mendy says the weather's getting warmer and the snowfall's coming sooner. And these shorter winters could be dangerous for our local foraging critters. The fawn has to be at a certain size to be able to make it through that first winter. If they come in light, if they have less weight, they probably won't, may not gain as much, so they won't make it through the winter. Here's our Snake River system. Here's our catchment area. Paul Link is a geology professor at Idaho State University. He says his research also shows more CO2 in the atmosphere. Because there's more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, then there's more heat trapped, there's more heat trapped, there's more uh, likelihood of stronger storms. This means more precipitation will fall as rain than as snow. Even as our water gets warmer, Mendy says we could see new fish species swimming in, such as catfish and smallmouth bass, which could be a good thing. But we could also see some of our local species leaving town if this trend continues. The hope is that those species that are adapted here won't totally go away. Uh, we'll just provide more diversity, but usually there's just a certain amount of groceries to go around, and if you get more mouths, somebody's going to lose. Both Mendy and Link say whether or not the climate change theory is absolute, it's still good to understand there is a change happening, nevertheless. Now for some of us skiers out there, unfortunately, uh, those ski seasons could get could be getting shorter and shorter every year. And I don't know about you guys, Jay and Carol, but for me, that that alone sounds like the end of the world. We're reporting live on Pocatello. I'm Caitlin Lukitas. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks, Caitlin. A link to that national report will be on our website at localnews8.com. Time to check in with.